come to the van today because I have got to do a little task. When I go away for a few days, there's one thing in my van that I am so, so grateful for, and it came with the van. Those of you who've been following my site for all this time will know that when I bought the van, it was split up to here. This side that the camera is in was basically storage. And this side had a big seat here, had a pull down table with a fixed bulkhead there. There was very little room. The seating area came to here. And in this slot where I'm sitting now used to be a portable toilet. It was um, removable, but it was bolted down and access to the rear in order to take the cassette out so that you could empty it was only accessible from the back. But it was one of those things that was an absolute godsend because if like me, you go on long journeys from time to time and then you just think, do you know what? I need to find a loo. It was one of those things you could shut the door and you could use it in the privacy of your own space. And I can tell you, it's an absolute joy. <laughs> it's um, one of those things I think that a lot of people are secretly envious um, when out and about, just to be able to empty the bladder at will without any fuss. But today I want to empty the toilet cassette and I want to show you how that works because a lot of people will not have a clue. But also, I want to show you what, as you can see, changes I have made to the van. So, as you can probably see, it's, for one thing, it's brighter. I put no more extra lights in other than just here when I'm filming, I've got the door open. Uh, but that is because <laughs> I've made it a bit more cheery. It's not finished yet by any means of the imagination. There's more work to do on it. But as you know, my van is not panelled, it's not insulated. Um, it is at a very basic stage of a van. That's because I consider my van more of a day van for going out to places and using it during the daytime for breakfast, meals, and perhaps um, something in the evening, cups of tea, coffees, that sort of thing, at any point in the day, picnics and those sort of things. But it is also a van that you can stay in for perhaps one or two nights. It's not something that I would go perhaps touring for weeks on end, but two, three nights, absolutely. And we'll come to one of the reasons why that might be a bit later. However, I want to make it cheery. It's not just a panel van, um, but I haven't gone to the expense or the weight of putting in all the stuff that you see many other land, uh, van lifers uh, do, where they turn it into a veritable home because it isn't my home, it is my camp in van. So um, I've made some curtains. Now you may have seen I made curtains in my kitchen and they came out really well. So I was so inspired, I made some curtains here in the van. I put some little background. I was gonna do windows here, fake windows with a scene, but actually for, for the cheapness, I suppose, I bought some PVC. This is like tabletop material. You know the sort of stuff you put on tables to protect a table? Perhaps it's, it's a bit like a tablecloth, but a PVC surface. That's what this is. Um, something very simple and uniform, but a bit bright and a bit jolly. It's staple gunned to some boards that were already in the van that had a kind of carpety felt stuff on there. I didn't want to bother to take that off. Now I have got a finesse around it because it does look like it's just been stuck on and I want to border it with something nice and I'm trying to work out the right thing to do that with. Um, the curtains obviously don't actually close. They're, they're, I mean, they could do, but I, they've no reason to. Um, and I've just literally holding them together with magnets. The runners are held up by magnets on loops. Um, unfortunately, one set of curtains look like they're shorter than the others. That's purely because the, the rod, the curtain rod had to be higher. I made that bit of a mistake. So down the line, I'll probably make fresh curtains and change it. Um, but the thing that I'm really excited about, and I know it's not very much really to consider, but I spent quite a bit of money on some lovely fabric 
which I have covered my main mattress, which is what I'm sitting on now. And I've made effectively with my sewing skills, my simple sewing skills, a giant pillowcase. And that runs over here. It means that if I get fed up with the design or it gets grubby, I can take it off and wash it or change it as the, as the whim takes me. And I've effectively used two meters off the roll and literally folded it in half, stitched it up inside out and then turned it round so it came out the right way. Very easy to do. And they were about 19 pounds a, a meter. So just under 40 quid really for that. Uh, but it certainly brightened it up. On the um, bulkhead, I've had a piece of rubber that Merlin very kindly gave to me. And, as, and it's because I took my bulkhead out and so on the bulkhead, I've had this piece of rubber, which is really blackout purposes. It's actually quite strong. So if there was a, an accident, you know, stuff will hit this. It probably will reduce um, the impact if there was any reason for that impact. Um, and it's held up with magnets. Now, I've shown you that before, but I thought something a bit brighter than black would be nice on the inside. And I've just put my neck curtain on here, just a piece of net. I think it was about four pounds. Um, and again, that's just all held up with magnets. And I'm looking to see if one could get perhaps a piece of material, similar sort of size, that has um, a simple, I don't know, pattern like a sunrise or a sunset or some trees, a little forest would look good, good on there, but something bright and, and jolly. So I don't know, but maybe people can suggest something. That would be fantastic. So um, there is that. So they're the basic things. There's so much more to do. I need to finesse my lighting in here a bit better. Um, but today's task is not to work on the decor anymore. I'm pretty happy with this and I want to work with it, is to show and demonstrate the toilet. Because as I said at the beginning, it is really, really useful having a bog on board. So my toilet here is at the back of the van, mainly for easy access. And I usually have it covered up so when you open the doors, it's not the first thing that people see. Otherwise, um, I don't know, it just feels a bit odd. So I'm going to hide all of that. And here it is. The great thing is it, it, it's got a turnable head, uh, which you can't use like this because you wouldn't be able to shut the door. But the great thing is you can use it like that. And when the door is shut, it's perfectly fine. Both doors, of course. Um, of course, you can stand and use it like this, naturally. More about that later on. So um, I've got it bungeed on. It's fixed by a bungee here. And I've got a batten that, uh, two battens, one this side, one this side, that stops it from rocking about. So it is actually very firmly fixed, but very easy to remove. So let's remove it. I'm going to turn it around and access the back where the cassette is. And I'll show you what that is. So by the magic of video editing, I've now come inside because it just started to rain outside. I didn't want to get the camera wet and I didn't want to get my toilet wet. Although I do need to give it a clean because it's been in the van for a while. But that's the easy bit. Now, I didn't have to bring and you don't certainly want to bring the whole unit in. There's no need to do that. As I say, just convenience. Also, but uh, it gives me a chance to show you the whole process much easier. So inside here, um, is this grey cassette and it just pulls out. This is in here where the nasty stuff is contained. It drops through and there's a, a special sealing unit here. Um, a, I don't know what you would call it, a sealer or a valve or something that snaps open when you flush and when you finish it snaps shut. It keeps all the nasty odours in. It means that this is self-contained. So if you're on a campsite and you need to empty it or you come back home as I do, um, then you can easily empty it by this little nozzle here, which unscrews. And I tend to, there's a button here that releases the stuff. Once you've unscrewed that, I tend to tip the horrible stuff 
down the drain. I've got a drain cover in the back garden so it can go straight down where the, the normal toilet stuff. But you could just flush this straight down the toilet as well. That's very easy to do. And then wash the thing out very simply by opening up this valve here. And uh, now it's not advisable to use too much bleach because I understand bleach will perish the rubber over time. I use a tiny bit and a bit of washing up liquid. Because this, the effluent isn't in here for too long, uh, cleaning it that way, it does keep it very clean very easily. And then once you've done all that and you've washed it through, I put in a little bit of water in there. Uh, there are chemicals you can put in, but I tend to use non-bio washing powder, just a little bit. Somebody told me, in fact, a chap called uh, Adrian from TurboStream, he told me that actually if you put in a couple of, um, of those pressed washer, uh, not disher wash tablets, but washing machine tablets, non-biological, um, that'll do just a good job and it's uh, equally cheap. And of course, if you, uh, you're not polluting, you know, you're not putting pollutants down the, the drain. And then it just slides back in like that, simple. And that is what I like about it. I've actually got two of those. So if you're on the road for any length of time, you could have two. It's just that you've got to store them somewhere. And I really only bother with the one. So there it is, that's my loo. I didn't want to actually show you the whole process because it is quite, you know, it's dirty water coming out, but I think you get the general idea of how it works. So um, I wouldn't be without my bog, I have to say, my onboard toilet. I love it. Uh, not quite that much, but I can guarantee this system, which I think is a Thetford system, but I'm not particularly promoting this particular system, but it, it doesn't smell. And I, that again is a very important thing, especially when I'm sleeping in the van overnight. Now, uh, that enough of that, I wanted to show you another aspect of my kitchen whilst I'm here because I've been very busy doing curtains. You saw the curtains in the van, and if you've been a regular follower, you'll know that I've been trying to tart up the old uh, kitchen here, the cottage kitchen, as I like to think of it. Well, uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I put together some curtains for the main window. You saw that I did the curtains under the sink, and I've done the curtains under the other wall, uh, other window, but for the main curtain, same principle, um, gingham cottage, kitchen, cafe, curtains, whatever you want to call them, I think they look rather nice and it makes the place look very cosy at night time when I'm settling down by my Essie. Yeah. I think I've got a bit bitten by the bug. I'm thinking now of making bedclothes with the sewing machine, more cushions around the house, especially when I get to make my own sofa, um, which I want to do, probably replace the one in the front room now because I was going to make one in the kitchen but because of the way my kitchen is now laid out um, I'm not going to do that of course. However that's it for this video. I'm going to keep it very simple, very short and it's really about how I use the loo and the importance of it. I'm actually now just going to give it a proper clean myself. Uh, I'll do that off camera because I don't want you know you could be eating your breakfast for all I know. Um, but it's very simple and very easy to keep clean so I'm really thrilled. So if you are thinking about having one in your van, if you've got a van, I would certainly recommend it. Um, and for those of you who are just in, interested, that's it, curiosity, it's killed the cat. Uh, don't let the cat in there, you'll never get the blooming thing out. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this. I will be out and about in the van very soon uh, when it's not raining. Till next time, take care and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Right, let's get this clean.